Melissa, come on in here. Now, Melissa, I, first question is, say your last name. I've been working on it. <laughs> Dvorjna Thomas. I love that. <laughs> and you are with Arts Mid-Hudson. Mm -hmm. This is a fundraiser for Arts Mid-Hudson. Mm -hmm. But tell everybody where we are right now. Uh, we're at the Poughkeepsie Trolley Barn, uh, located on Main Street in Poughkeepsie. Well, first off, go ahead, Vince. Show them what we have here. How many artists and vendors do you have here today? 60 artists, all located from the Mid-Hudson Valley region. And I like the way you do this because you are going to have artists restocking the goods, but shopping is going to be easy and you can cover a lot of ground, right? Absolutely. So what happens? Co folks come in, they see something, then they just check out, and they're not only supporting local artists, they're supporting this region. What is the arts scene like in the Mid-Hudson Valley? The arts region, it's thriving. We have such a diverse um, group of artists in our area that just make this an incredible place to live and work and play, really. Well, I got to tell you, coming up later, we're going to see some of these other, every, everything in here is unique. It's mm -hmm. like everything's one of a kind. Yeah, one of a kind. It's great for gift giving and also for purchasing for yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I know. I see these things. Oh, I'd like that. I'd like that. But um, uh, what time does it start? Uh, opens at 10 a.m. today till 5 p.m. and then again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to 5 and that's it. It pops up and pops back down. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. So Andrea, next half hour, Melissa, God bless her, up early. There's another side of this and I want to just show you some of the really cool, unique items and some of the real inventive items here as well. But it's all about supporting local artists and local businesses, which we're happy to do inside. Right now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. I was going to say they have perfect weather for it because people need an indoor activity today. Thank you, John. And each week, CBS 2 News Saturday morning, we'll be highlighting small businesses throughout the tri-state area, showcasing what they have to offer and how they play a part in their community, also trying to support their efforts to bounce back from the pandemic. For more information, you can scan the QR code on your screen and tune in each Saturday as we shop local.